Hey everyone, it is your boy Blazy here bringing you a brand new video this fine Wednesday evening. So I hope everyone's having a fantastic week so far. If you guys are here in the UK with me, you all know it's absolutely freezing right now. I've got my standard Kansas City jumper on now that's going to be on until winter's over. And yeah, it is a little bit chilly. But nonetheless, people, we are back and vibing with a brand new video today. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube recently and I realised all collectors at the moment seem to be doing a match attack binder update. So do you know what? For the first time in Blazy Collects history, we are going to be doing a binder update, people. That is right. I am going to be showing you my current binder progress from the Match Attacks 2023 collection to show you how I store my cards and how many I've got missing. Because the one thing I've learned, people, is that there's no right way or wrong way of storing them. Everyone does it differently. So hopefully you guys get a few tips and get to see how close I am to finish in this year's collection. So we are gonna crack on with this binder update, people. But before I do, if you enjoy today's video and think I've done a half decent job, then be sure to smash that like button and do subscribe never to miss a single match tax opening from your boy Blazy. We do not just do match tax, we do adrenaline, we do the full works here, uh, and I'm sure you guys do not want to miss out. So sit back, relax, and take a look at how much of this binder I've managed to complete. So, people, it is time for Blazy Collects' first ever Match Attacks Binder update. And I tell you what, people, I am absolutely gassed to show you how many cards I'm missing for my collection and how I've stored them in my binder. Because I know it'd be super useful for you guys out there. Match Attacks keep releasing more and more additional cards each season, and it is an absolute nightmare to fit them all in your binder. So, I'm really, really excited, people, and I think we should just crack on with today's video. As I do, here is all the cards I'm missing from this kid's collection. We've only got one base card missing, number 273. Of the black edges and foils, we're missing 12. We're missing nine limited editions and only seven chrome shields. So I barely need any cards to get this one completed. And fingers crossed over our next couple of videos, we'll get this collection closed off. So we are so close to the line, people. We can almost taste it, but we've still got a little bit of a way to go. So... Let's show you where we are, people. So as we flick it open to page one, it managed to complete the whole Chelsea collection. As I go through this, people, you will note that I do actually store my sapphires in with my normal cards. What I do is I double layer them. I put the base card behind. You guys should be able to see that. Uh, and then I put the sapphire card over top. The reason I do that, it keeps them all in one place. And if you ever decide you just want to show the base cards, you can just leave your base cards in there and take your sapphires out because there's nothing worse, I think, than losing all your base cards because you've replaced them with sapphires in your binder. So I put them back to back. And also as a heads up, I have not double backed my team cards. A lot of people have double backed their team cards as you go through. So you'll see Man City on the left, Man City on the right, rather than seeing them on two separate pages. The reason I haven't is because if you're double backing uh, cards like I have with Chelsea, you'll know that I've double backed Mason Mount right here. You can end up with four cards back to back. And that is going to make these pages really, really heavy and there's a chance you could damage a card. So the reason I don't double back the team pages is because you're double back in the crystals already. And I think it's a recipe for disaster. So that's what I've done, people. But you will see a little bit of double backing at the end. So do, uh, yeah, so do stay tuned for that a little bit. But as you can see, people, I have already completed the Chelsea collection. Looking swish in here, isn't it, people? Surprise, Chelsea only got nine cards as well. They did win the Champions League the other year. You thought you'd get more of them, but... Chelsea only got nine this year and all the other English teams got 18. So not too sure why Chelsea have been shortchanged, but you flip it over, you can see we've already completed Manchester City. I've actually got Erling Haaland's crystal. If you take a look right here, you can see that we put him in a hard protector. We could not put Erling Haaland in a binder this year, could we? What a season he's having and we need to keep that crystal card nice and safe. There's over 300 different crystal cards. So finding this one is really, really difficult. So we've got a nice little crystal Haaland and we're keeping them separate just like we did with Cristiano Ronaldo last year. We've hit the two big boys in the last two years. We have done really, really well with our match stats collections, people. We have done really, really well. And like you'll see, Manchester City is all completed as we go through. We've also completed Liverpool, all the Liverpool cards. West Ham, look at that. And I've completed the West Ham collection. This might be the last time we see West Ham in a match tax collection for a few years. The top seven race this year is spicy. And with Newcastle adding to the mix up there, Brighton are in it. I'm not convinced West Ham will make Europe again. So if you're a West Ham fan, definitely get these cards. And you can see I've got a crystal Declan Rice, which is very nice. Because this could be the last time we see West Ham. Uh, we've got Spurs in there as well. Spurs are battling it out for top four right now. It's looking really tight. Could we see Spurs as a Europa League team next year? But hey, I've got all of the Spurs cards, so it doesn't matter to me. 
Arsenal as well, people. Arsenal is looking nice and complete. A lot of Arsenal crystals. We've got three of them, as you can see. Not only that, this is Arsenal in the Europa League. It is highly, highly likely that Arsenal fans will be buzzing this year as they should be in the Champions League next year. So stay tuned, people, for Champions League Arsenal match attacks next year. Could we get an Arsenal 100 club next year? That would be really exciting, people. We've also got Manchester United right here in the Europa League. Uh, we've got a couple of crystals right there. Again, three crystals and we completed the page. And now we move on to the current champions of Europe. We have Real Madrid. Until recently, I was missing one of these cards from my collection, but Real Madrid is now complete. Look at that. Another complete team. As I'm only missing one base card, people, there is only one uncomplete team. But right now, you can see I have literally got every card there pretty much is to get. We've got Barcelona complete right there. Got a Crystal Memphis Depay earlier from a uh, limited edition mega multi-pack. We've got all our Atletico Madrid that have one of the most bizarre kit pictures of all time, don't they, people? It almost looks like they've distorted the image. I do not know what Nike were thinking when they designed this kit. It's absolutely awful. Whatever happened to straight lines, people? I do not know. But either way, Atletico Madrid is complete. PSG as well. I've got about five copies of Crystal Marquinhos, which is really annoying because uh, I'd love some more crystals of the other players. But we've got three, four, five crystals from the PSG set. And the set is all complete. Bayern Munich as well. You can see people. Bayern Munich is complete. I think I was waiting on Nianzu for ages and I finally packed Nianzu the other day and I vibed, honestly, people, so, so hard. Uh, it was good to get this one finished. RIP Bayern, uh, Bayern version of Lewandowski. It seems really weird seeing with a Barca kit these days, doesn't it? We miss the Bayern Lewandowski days, don't we, people? And Borussia Dortmund. Again, we completed all of Dortmund. Two crystals to the mix as well, including that Adeyemi. What a player for the future that lad is. Coming on to the single pages now, I believe. I think Leverkusen have a single page. We have completed all of Leverkusen with no crystals, annoyingly. We've completed all of the Red Bull Leipzig page, including a Crystal Angelino in the top right. All of Ajax is done as well. PSV completed it, mate, in the words of Jay from the Inbetweeners. Benfica finally looking tidy. Again, I got 267 earlier on. I've been missing Weigel for ages. Oh, here we go, people. The first pages, the first team that is not complete in my binder. I am missing card number 273. 273 from Rail Betis is missing in my binder, people. So we're still looking for that one. Let me know in the comments if you can trade me. But I'm literally missing just one card from the base collection, which is really annoying. And it is doing my OCD in because there's like a 1 in 400 chance of finding the card you need now. It's really, really stupid. And I'm not convinced I'm going to find it, people. So hit me up in the comments if you can help me out. Rail Sociedad, you are complete too, mate. We've completed all of Villarreal. We've got two nice crystals here in the middle of our Porto team. Because these teams as well, the single pages, don't have holographic players. You've got no like top scorers or anything. You could get whole pages of crystal. So I'm excited to get some more crystals, people, of the single page teams so that we can get a nice crystal thing going on because that will look absolutely mint in the binder, wouldn't it? Sporting Lisbon is complete. We've completed Monaco. We've completed Milan. You can see we're not getting many crystals now. Inter Milan is complete as well. Double back in the Milans. We then have Juventus, which is complete with a Crystal Chiesa. We've completed all of Lazio and we've completed Roma as well. Here, we've also completed all of Celtic with two Crystals and two Crystals from Rangers as well. A lot of Scottish fans be buzzing. These teams only made it inside the extra set last year. So it's nice to see some Scottish representation in there. So from all the base cards, people, you can see I'm literally missing just one. I'm missing number 273, so fingers crossed we can get that bad boy nice and shortly. So here we go, people, moving on to the hollows very briefly here, people. In the next gens, we have completed the first page. Look at that Cole Palmer. He is the rookie to collect this year, people. I've got so many rookie Cole Palmers that need to go to PSA, but what a guy, people. I definitely hold on to those ones if you're going to hold on to any match tax player this year. But we completed page one. We are missing one from page two, which is number 400. I can't actually remember which number 400 was, actually. So we flip it round to the back just so we can take a look. You can see my bind is getting thicker now because I'm double backing. Josco Gvardiol is the one we are missing right there from the next gen collection. And we're also missing 407. 407 looks like Badashil uh, is the one that I am missing from that page. So two next gens missing. We then hit the legends and don't they look spicy, people? I've also made a mistake here because you can see... A first edition Frankie Lamps in the corner there. If I move this just underneath, it's going to be difficult to show you guys. Look at that. First edition Frankie Lamps is up there. 
I actually have his non-first edition card, so I need to take that one out, but I've kept all my first edition separate this year, people, because I think they can hold value and get rarer as those start to disappear. But we've got a first edition of Frankie Lamps on a page of completed legend cards, and doesn't that look good, people? We've got a Gaza down there. And if Newcastle get European football this year, right, could we not only get Newcastle match attacks, but could we get an Alan Shearer legend card? That would be absolutely unreal. Alan Shearer, a legend card in the match attack set. That should be a done deal. Tops, if you ever end up watching this video, you heard it here first. Alan Shearer, a legend card in next year's set. So we've completed all the legends and we are missing a few signature styles. So we're missing the first signature styles, which is number 425, uh, which is really frustrating because again, it's barely any cards. We've then got the next page completed. We've got the next page completed and it's just the one. I thought there was more than one. We are literally missing one signature style. I am missing Thiago Alcantara, number 425. I sound like a bingo caller, don't I, people? So 100 clubs as well, looking nice and complete there. We've got all of them, including that 101 unbeatable Benzema. Could we next year get an 100 club Bruno Guimaraes if Newcastle get Champions League football? I think he deserves it, people. Bruno 100 club would be absolutely unreal. I prefer John Linton, you know me, I'm a big Newcastle fan, but... Bruno Guillemar Race 100 Club. You heard it here first, people. So we've got all those 100 clubs complete. And we are only missing, when we flip round to the next page, two cards from the Black Edge set. The Black Edge set is one of the best-looking designs we've ever had in match attacks. And I'm missing that Erling Haaland. Haaland is so hard to come by. He's the rarest Black Edge. He costs the most on eBay. And I would do anything to get that Erling Haaland position filled. So only seven out of nine Black Edges. You can then see here that I start to double back because you can see the back of a Borussia Dortmund card here. I haven't double backed anything else in the binder because I think it will look funny, but I have started double backing my heritages. So I flip them over, you'll see that we've got the heritages on one page. And the reason I've done that, people, is because we need space at the end for our update cards. And not only do we need a space for our update cards, but I've put the Chrome Shields in there as well because I wanted a place to keep them all together. So from the Heritages people, I have started double backing them to make a little bit of extra space. So you can see with the Heritages, I am missing a fair few. So we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Heritages are missing from my collection, which is really, really annoying. They're the hardest to get. They're one in five packs. Yeah, they are an absolute nightmare. They were a nightmare last year and they are a nightmare this year too. But Seven missing. We've got the majority of them. We are so, so close to that dub. After the heritages, I like to keep everything in order. You guys would have realised as I've gone through this, my whole collection is in order. Some collectors do not put their collection in order. And I tell you what, it triggers my OCD to a different level. Everything must be in number order. If it's not in number order, it is not correctly stored in your binder. I told you there's no right or wrong way to do it. But I have crippling OCD, so please, people, just put them in numerical order. It makes me feel so uncomfortable when I see them not. Um, but yeah, mine are all in number order. And when it ends on number 500, which is Smalling, we've got our limited editions here right there, uh, the neon ones. We've got a gap for the blue special limited editions, the one that come in that crazy multi-pack box a few of you have been opening, uh, the Diaz that came with the bundle. So I think it's the black or blue limited editions that go there. Um, that go as a four across here. The blues actually, double checked it. Blue limited edition go there. I've not got any yet, but I'm gonna be picking those up on eBay. And we then got the cards from the Mega Tins. All of those Playmakers, Finishers, Wonder Kids, we've got them all before we hit the limited editions. And like I said earlier, I am only missing a handful of limited editions. Nine limited editions missing, but you'll see, I've actually managed to get the majority of them, which is pretty good now, people. The mega multi-packs are definitely the way to go for limited editions, right? I was really struggling. I only had six that I actually needed in my collection. And since opening the mega multi-packs, I think I've only opened three, but I've managed to get another nine limited editions, people. So definitely get the mega multi-packs. They are the best way at getting your limited editions completed. So a lot of limited editions right there, people. We've got another back for the Christmas cards. So all of the Christmas cards from the calendar, which I'm going to be opening over Christmas. I, again, I have OCD. I must open calendars at Christmas. They can't be done beforehand. They are going to be going along these pages right here. So all of my Christmas cards are going to go there. And when you flip it over, we've got a page for our purple game changers right there. I've only got five game changers. I can get Harry Kane, Neymar, Jota, the easy ones to get in the UK. But Tammy Abraham 
Game changer number eight, I believe, goes for about 60 quid on eBay. Not cheap to finish your collection, people. So if anyone's in Ireland and can help me out with a Tammy, I would massively appreciate it. But I've got five out of the nine exclusive game changer cards. Uh, and then we've got our update cards after that. So they technically end the collection at the end of the uh, festive cards. You'll see it if I flip around one more time. The collection ends after the festives, but I've continued it here for the game changers. So we've got a page of game changers. And then our new signing start here. I don't know if we're getting a new signing pack three, but pack one and pack two are out. Morrison's is definitely the best place to find them, people. And I've got my golds across the top and I've same room for a third pack. And then we've got all of our base cards. So pack one, pack two, pack three gold. And then we've got them in order, starting from number one here with Koulibaly. And we go right through there, people. Double backing again, right up to number 32, which is Mbolo. I will start to run out of space at this point, people. So I'll probably take my shields out. But I thought if I double back those, it looks really good at this point because we've got our Chrome Shields right here. I'm still missing Neymar and I'm dying to get that Neymar Chrome Shield. But I've done really well with these people. We're only missing seven Chrome Shields and I've got two lovely Chrome Preview cards there as well. So the collection people, I think, has gone really, really well this year. And I'm excited to see what additional products Match Attacks brings out, whether it's another Super Signings Pack or whether we get some new exclusive limited editions. We are missing just a handful of cards from the base collection, uh, and we're just missing a few of those limited editions towards the back. So I think I will try and finish it off. I do believe I'll go out and buy the missing purple game changers from eBay, but if anyone can trade me for a card I'm missing, I will be massively appreciative for that. And I'm happy uh, to trade you back if there's anything you're missing too. So overall, 98% complete of this collection. We'll get another percent with the festive calendar and another percent through some trades uh, and a little bit of eBay. And so that is today's binder update, people. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I store my cards and which cards I have missing from my collection. We are going to be doing more match attacks openings in the next few weeks to get this completed. So what I would love you guys to do is comment in the comment section and let me know what products you'd like to see me open. I am not sure what I want to open, people. So I want you to decide how we are going to get this album filled out, whether it's a YouTube Live, whether it's Megatins, Mini Tins. You tell me how I should complete this. But for now, people, if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button and do subscribe never to miss a single soccer car pack opening from your boy, Blazy. But for now, have a lovely evening, people, and I will catch you on the next video.